Hello, Buchanan County. I often found you to be one of the most Christian areas I've ever lived in. And I lived in the South. I have a dear friend who works in the ER all night long from 7 at night to 3 in the morning. So I guess it's not literally all night long. Stands on her feet eight hours. Gets no break. She's been homeless since December 27th when her kitchen ceiling fell in. She's been forced to have to stay in a motel in Owine for $315 a week. gets sometimes one day off and then two days on and then another day off so she has to sleep she's 60 years old takes a toll on anyone who works overnight she's paying out 1250 a month they know her they know how hard it is for her they don't give a cat they don't give a cat. We'll say that. She needs a place to stay so she can look for a place to live that allows her to have her dog. It's a little chow. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a Mexican taco dog. I don't know the name. Cat person. But surely there's someone out there who has maybe an apartment on the ground floor. She walks with a cane that would allow her to stay there at a cheaper rate than that per month while she looks for a place to call home. Where are those Christians I knew were here when I was a kid? I'm from Alma Key. Can't fling a cat without hitting a Lutheran or a Catholic. Used to come out for their neighbors whenever they were in need. There was one fella. He was a farmer. And he was out cutting corn. His auger got stuck. So the first thing he did was stick his arms in there. Be nice, children. And so his arms caught on fire. S sod of the earth, fella. God fearing fella. Had to wait till his arms were burnt through to break them off so he could get away. You know what this fella does? He doesn't sit on his ass. Every day during the school year, he's pulling that stop sign out in front of 504 West Main. So the children coming from the high school, not coming from what used to be the junior high and the grade school, can cross the street to go home. Every day, rain or snow, that's where that farmer is. I'm so proud of him, and I've never actually met him, but I've been proud from afar. He's like uh, Laura Schultz was harmed in a, a sliding accident when she was a child. She walks up and down all the streets and walk on. She starts at 6 in the morning. She goes out every day with her walker and her bags and her dog food in case she might run into a dog that needs a bite to eat. And she collects cans. She is a hero of mine because she is out there 
doing for her neighbors or what she can do. And she doesn't want to sit on the sidelines and let life pass her by. I wish all the flies of my own would pass me by right on through to the fly strips. Eight flies. I hate layabouts. I hate people who whine because they're not getting what they want. Get off your ass and do it. Leave a comment. My friend I adopted in June when I met her in the parking lot at Walmart. She's the bestest drive I've ever had in my entire life. And I had two. Surely you have a place or you know a place where an citizen of Owine whose family were there forever, whose grandpa worked on the railroad. Surely you know of a place where she doesn't have to stay where she is, where bugs and mice live, where she is told that though it's not a full service hotel, they have mice because they live in a park. I lived in the Shenandoah National Park and I lived in uh, at Mount Rushmore for employees. We didn't have mice. Help her out, please. Give her a break so she can find a home. Thank you. From Val's White Wolf Books, Claus Creek in Iowa.